Hello, everyone. It's a very great pleasure for me to speak at this meeting. Today, I would like to share our paper, XWeb Sketch, on sketching data streams at web scale. My presentation will cover the following five aspects. Introduction, XWeb Sketch, Analysis, Evaluation, and Conclusions. In many applications, big data streams are automatically generated, such as web clicks, sensor networks, and so on. In fact, data stream processing is often processed in one part, and we usually cannot store all the items in the stream. Hence, it is desired to have a compact structure for supporting the applications. Sketch is the best solution. It has three advantages, memory efficiency, constant speed, high accuracy. The most basic sketches are C-Sketch and CM-Sketch. CU-Sketch is a variant of CM-Sketch, which uses a conservative update strategy. Both A-Sketch and CodeFuture are based on the same framework, Sketch with a future. Take CM sketch for example. Given a CM sketch with four columns and two rows, and there are two hash functions. When data item 6 arrives, the corresponding counters are found by two hash functions. In the first row of the second column and the second row of the third column. Then, we add one in these two counters because the data item 6 arrives only once. Similarly, when data item 8 arrives, we find the corresponding counters and update them by the same hash function. When querying data item 6, similarly, the corresponding counters are found by two hash functions. Then, we will get the values 5 and 10. We return 5 as the final result because 5 is smaller than 10. We can see that because of hash collisions, each counter may record the frequency of multiple items. Therefore, the error of CM sketch is very large, but the space is small. On the other hand, when the number of items becomes larger, the error of CM sketch will increase rapidly. Then, we show our new method. XY sketch. First of all, we introduce two inspirations of XY sketch. We found that an item can be seen as a set of basic elements. For example, item 363 can be composed into 535 by the bijective function. And we call 535 as the basic elements. Due to the bijective function, these basic elements can be recomposed uniquely as the original item. It means that these three basic elements can uniquely represent the original item. Next, we focus on one simple method to estimate the frequency of the item. If we want to figure out the frequency of the local racket, we only need to know the total number of logos and the probability. Then, the frequency of the rocket can be easily calculated. Based on these two inspirations, we get equation 1 to figure out the frequency of an item. But unfortunately, the space complexity of this method is very large, which is unfordable. To this end, we reduce the space overhead by sacrificing accuracy by equation 2. In this way, the space complexity is reduced to WD. That's the key point of XY sketch. Now, it's time to introduce XY sketch formally. XY sketch maintains DW counters. 
initially, all of the counters are set to zero. It has one bijective function. When an item arrives, it is decomposed into d basic elements. Then the corresponding counters are updated. Similarly, when calling an item, after finding the counters of its basic elements, we can easily recompose the original item with a bijective function. We use an example to introduce the XY sketch in detail. There is an XY sketch with four columns and two zones, and it has recorded 16 items. When data item 6 arrives, it is decomposed into 1 and 2 by the bijective function. Then, the corresponding counters are found in the first zone of the second column and the second zone of the third column. We add 1 in these two counters because the data item 6 arrives only once. Similarly, when data item 7 arrives, it is decomposed into 1 and 3 by the same bijective function. Then, we find the corresponding counters and update them. When calling item 7, after decomposing it into the basic elements 1 and 3, the corresponding counters are found. Then, we can easily figure out the two key probability values, 6 18 and 5 18. Finally, the estimated frequency of 7 can be calculated as 5 third by equation 3. The exact frequency of item 7 is 2, and it can be calculated by equation 4. In the XY sketch described above, all elements have B base. Therefore, the domain of each basic element is the same. We call this XY sketch structure the basic structure. Because the number of counters in each row is the same. This will lead to a problem. For any given space budget, it may not be fully tidy. Therefore, we propose an extended structure. It does not require the same number of counters in each row. We adopt a greedy strategy to occupy the remaining space as much as possible. Finally, we can get the number of counters in each row of XY sketch. There are lots of bijective functions that can be chosen in XY sketch. We introduce a statistics based optimization to choose a proper bijective function of, of XY sketch. First, we calculate the entropy of each bit through a few items in the string. Then, we sort the entropy of each bit. We set W1 bit with the highest entropy as the first basic element of an item. The flowing W2 bit with the highest entropy are set as the second basic element. In this way, we allocate all the bits properly and construct the final bijective function. The reason why we take this strategy is written in the paper and we will now share it in detail because of time limitations. Next, we show some necessary theoretical analysis. We figure out the error bound of XY sketch and it can be found in zero 01. Comparing the error bounds of the traditional sketches, we can see that XY sketch has good scalability. From table 1, when the value of small n increases, the error bounds of XY sketch and C sketch decreases, where the error bounds of CM sketch is unchanged. It means that when the big N is given, the error bounds of XY sketch and C sketch decrease as the number of the distinct items increases. When the value of big N increases, the error bounds of all these three sketches increase. In a more general situation, 
the space budget is small. The factor in the error bound of aqueous gas will be smaller than the factor in the error bound of sand sketch, which shows that the aqueous sketch rises more slowly as the beacon increases. Therefore, aqueous gas has good scalability. Now, we show the evaluation results of aqueous sketch. We use both the real dataset and the synthetic dataset to test our aqueous sketch. We use AAE and ARE to measure the accuracy of the sketches. We compare aqueous sketch with five classical sketches. We show three code filters with different parameters. For example, we use CF40 to represent code filter with filter percentage equal to 40. We test the space efficiency of aqueous sketch. In figure 1, all methods achieve smaller AAE and ARE by increasing the space budget, whereas aqueous sketch performs better. We evaluate the small n scalability of aqueous sketch and its competitors. For figure 2, all methods increase with respect to rho. Expect C sketch and aqueous sketch which is consistent with the scalability analysis in port 4. Among all methods, aqueous sketch achieves the best small n scalability. The AAE and ARE values of aqueous sketch are both an order of magnitude lower than that of C sketch and two orders of magnitude lower than others. We evaluate the big n scalability of aqueous sketch for figure 3. We can see that both metrics for space lines increase significantly with the increase in the number of data items. Compared to baseline, aqueous sketch performs very stable with respect to the increase of data items. It can be observed that aqueous sketch mostly dominates other competitors on both metrics. Finally, I would like to make conclusions with this presentation. We propose a novel sketch called XWAS sketch. We propose both basic structures and the extended structure for XWAS sketch. We also propose the corresponding optimization to choose a purple predictive function. We conduct a detailed theoretical analysis for the extermination error bounds. We conduct experiments to evaluate the performance of XWAS sketch. Thank you very much for your attention.